Hey, I'm Kareem Levy. And I'm Emily Dreyfus. And welcome to Rumor Has It, the show where we round up the week's biggest tech rumors. And then we bet on which ones sound legit and which ones seem like they are never going to happen. This week, we have a new feature where you can vote on all of the rumors. So keep your eye out for the poll in the interactive <laughs> right player there. if you're watching on CNET. Our first rumor is about the 13-inch MacBook Pro. It could be getting a Retina display makeover this September, just like its 15-inch big brother, according to an analyst with KGI Securities based in Thailand. In his note, Ming-Chi Kuo advises potential investors that Apple will definitely upgrade the mid-size Pro. Of course, Kuo is somewhat of an overzealous optimist, concluding that we'll also see a new iPhone in September, a new iPad mini, and a new iPod. Maybe I'm also an overzealous optimist because I think that this is going to happen because I think it's inevitable. I actually agree with you. I think that that computer is going to get a retina display, but I think that it would have gotten one with its 15-inch big brother if they had the technology ready. So I bet there's a delay and we won't see it in September. Our next rumor is that the Financial Times is reporting that Nokia is in talks with European carriers to sign exclusive partnerships for its next Windows Phone 8-based device and will offer carriers part of the revenue. What's really interesting about this is the innovative pay model. Yeah, if the carriers are going to make more money for every Nokia phone that they sell as opposed to other phones, then they have a huge incentive to pimp out Nokia above yeah, totally. all else, which actually would be a win-win for everyone if they could somehow save Nokia's sagging bottom line <laughs> and fill their own pockets with money. Speaking of sagging bottom line, do you remember RIM? Of course, the company that just laid off people. Okay, but do you remember the BlackBerry Playbook? Barely, the tablet no one wanted. <laughs> so let's break it down. The Playbook is a 7-inch tablet, and you can get a 32-gig version for $250. Now, according to a document from Canadian carrier Bell, RIM may be releasing a 4G version of the same tablet for $550. Does that seem strange? That's because it is. The first Playbook didn't do very well, so now they're doubling the price and hoping people like it better? Now for iPhone 5 rumor watch. Threat level, orange. The terror of it has our producer Sarah quietly sobbing in the corner in frustration. The new phone will have a smaller 19-pin dock connector, says Reuters. Now, current iPods and iPhones have 30-pin connectors, so this would be a problem for using accessories like speakers or car systems. Though there may be hope. The site iMore says Apple will offer an adapter to make your old stuff work with the new phone. Changing the pin sounds like a horrible, terrible idea, and the worst part is that it's probably going to happen because they do this all the time. A lot of dock connectors aren't backward compatible, yeah. and it's super frustrating, and I'm just frustrated well, talking about it. Do you want to be even more frustrated? I bet that if it happens and there's an adapter, that thing will cost you 70 bucks. Oh my god. See, I don't know. I think it might cost $30, which isn't even that much less expensive. Yeah, thanks a lot, Apple, for making me spend 30 extra dollars. <laughs> um, okay, well, what do you guys think? Do you think Think that the pin will be changed? Do you think that if they have an adapter, it'll cost a lot of money? We are going to go out on the streets of San Francisco and see what they think while you vote. Do you think that Apple would do that to us? Uh, yeah, I think they can and should. Yeah, I think I could see them doing that. <laughs> yeah, it seems like something Apple would do. It's going to be a major pain, frankly. Yeah. <laughs> you release hardware that changes over time and we buy the new hardware and we deal with it yeah. because we love Apple. It's probably going to be an upgrade, better technology, but it's going to suck because, I mean, every iPod accessory I own probably has to get upgraded if I get a new phone. How much do you think they're going to sell the adapter for? Uh, I would guess that it's $19.99. Apple, I was with you when you switched to USB. Now you're going to pull this stuff on us. I think it's pretty likely they'll do that. Um, I think it'll be $25.99. The adapter? Probably like 50 bucks. 29 ish I mean, that's a safe bet for every little adapter they have, if not 50. I mean. Probably like 50 bucks. I don't know, at least 50 bucks. I don't know, 15 bucks? I could be wrong. It could be 50, and I think people would still buy it. Well, the people on the street really seem to think Apple is going to do this to us. And they think that an adapter is going to cost about 50 bucks. Let's go inside and see what the CNET Council thinks. The CNET Council is composed of five editors who cast their votes anonymously. Their opinions are not an endorsement by CNET or CBS Interactive. Obviously, because these are rumors, folks. And the Council's verdict is... 
unanimous. Five out of five of our editors believe that Apple is likely going to have a smaller dock on the next iPhone. Price-wise, however, they differed. If there is going to be an adapter, some people thought it was going to be $30, one person thought it was going to be $10, and one person thought that it would come free in the box. Oh my god, that's <laughs> adorable. They're so naive. <laughs> well, if you want to argue with our CNET Council in person about anything they've said, you might be able to because we're throwing a rumor has it launch party at CNET headquarters. <laughs> if you want to be invited, all you need to do is tweet to CNET Rumor Show using the hashtag RHI Party. That's our show, everybody. Please share your rumors at rumorhasit at cnet.com or call us at 1-800-750-CNET and tweet to us about the party. And tune in next week for more rumors.